Hey besties, today is Friday, November 12th and it's 8 30 in the evening and i wanted to open up a new vlog so this is hopefully by now like my third pre-med series video that i've uploaded this semester as i'm recording this video the other two videos are not even um edited i have not even given my sd cards to kiosk yet but she's actually here in oberlin for the weekend so i will show y'all her in a little bit right now i gave her some pizza earlier that really did not sit well with her digestive system so She's not in the room right now, but um, when she's feeling better, I will definitely show y'all her and she can say hey and all that good stuff. A few updates on my life. So I had a physics exam today. Overall, I think it went okay. Um, in the previous vlog, I was saying how like preparing for exams just mentally exhaust me. So I started studying for the exam last Saturday and I studied from like Saturday to maybe Tuesday and then on Wednesday and Thursday so the two days leading up to the exam I didn't do that much studying for being honest I just physically and mentally cannot deal with exams right before the exam for me it's like either I know it by that time or I don't um and again overall I think it went okay I do feel as though I wish I had more time I was telling somebody else that I feel as though most people took the entire time to take the exam which usually doesn't happen it was one student who left early or like finished the exam in less than 50 minutes but i feel like the rest of us we were there until the very end and even then folks were still scrambling to like write down their last few thoughts or whatever um but you know like i always say i've done my part the rest is beyond me the results of that exam are beyond me um i feel good i got through it so congratulations to me congratulations congratulations to all of my peers i've made really good progress on my personal statement for my uh internship applications for next summer so that's super exciting my favorite tiktoker at the moment who, which is oat milk leader she has a podcast and it's called life gets weird it's such a good podcast and her tiktok handle is oat milk leader which i think i just said about 10 seconds ago but i don't know i just really enjoy her videos so she is a person who suffers from depression and she takes antidepressants and she just kind of is figuring her life out she recently dropped out of uni this past fall not to be just spilling all her business on my youtube channel but she's very vocal about her life and her experiences and i just feel like she's such a raw and authentic individual and so yeah, i think she's like my fave at the moment i've also really been enjoying writing so so much so I've been journeying a lot writing out my thoughts writing out my life story so that's been a ton of fun um, and I think that's mostly it for updates so tonight is still a session which is something that is hosted by um, Abuswa which is our black student organization it happens roughly every month at a house which is African Heritage House here at Oberlin um, and it's basically a time for black students to showcase all their talents people here are so freaking talented um, there's Kiasta. I'm just talking about you to my YouTube channel. Um, you want to come say hey? Let's see how you doing. So it looks really pale, doesn't it? I don't look that bad. Okay. How you doing? I'm doing okay. She's not feeling your best yet? Mm-mm. Not ready to head out quite yet? I we can go. No, we can wait. No, we can go. We don't matter. She gave me some pizza that yeah. she knew was no good and now I got my stomach. To be fair, so it's pepperoni pizza. We don't eat a lot of pork, right? Mm -hmm. And I had the pizza earlier when I was volunteering for Lab Craw. Um, and I wasn't feeling super great after eating the pizza, but for me, I was just like, I was just like, oh, it's um, pepperoni pizza, it's pork. I don't eat pork that frequently, so that was that. And I gave Kiasa the pizza without telling her what my experience was after eating it. And you know, I feel bad, but it's just like, I thought it was just me. Now I'm back and forth to the toilet yeah i just told them i was like yeah kiosk is here in town but you know she's not in this room because her stomach's hurting so they can put two and two together yeah <laughs> i'm sorry but yeah we're gonna head to a house i was just saying how people here are so talented and yeah she is doing her thing they play the piano guitar they sing they rap they dance they're poets it's so freaking beautiful and one day i would love to perform something that i've written who knows maybe today's the day oh an excerpt from my book oh a book <laughs> okay um so yeah let me it's i've been talking for five minutes now so i'm gonna stop i don't see you guys hello okay wait let's let it focus there we are hello friends uh, and it's not focused anymore <laughs> let's just like let's just stay up here like okay hello hello okay so we're about to head out to go we have to walk to a house which is like a 15 minute walk <laughs> Uh, it is? Yes, to get the soul session. Okay. So maybe I need to walk. Exactly. It'll it'll be good. And I don't think there's anywhere to you wouldn't want to drive there, would you? Mm. Honestly, because we would still have to walk to your car and then walk back. Yeah. It wouldn't be worth it. Okay, Lego. Lego. Mm -hmm. Lego. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Drop it like it's hard. Oh, okay. Okay. Magnes. <laughs> Motherly warmth and not scorn. Boys are fun and girls are trouble. I was taught to be scared of myself, my sex, my body. I envy the way my brothers dance so freely, not scared of being seen. I'm trying to. gay struggle, or gay buckle, or gay history. Birdman's a mystery, so much the word gay makes you punch hysterically, to the point where it has become uncaringly, uncaringly pointless. You say that's gay, or ayo, or fire feed that, not knowing that just like our black ancestors were burned, my gay ancestors were turned into identical pieces of coal, true pieces of history stole, not to be recovered and told. And So it is a new day and we are headed to a Mexican restaurant called Lupita's. We're gonna dine in. She's gonna get beef tacos. We'll see what I'm gonna get. I might try something new, but I'm really excited because I'm really, really freaking hungry. Um, so yeah, and it's like two o'clock in the afternoon next day. How are you feeling, Kiesta? How's Overland life treating you? I like Overland. <laughs> It's fun. Uh -huh. It's freezing. <laughs> very cold. And I got her doing all this walking. I'm just so used to walking at this point. So she about to make me lose weight. Oh goodness. I'm sorry, sis. <laughs> all right, let's go to Lupita's. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so you come in and I had to think about it for a second. We just set my camera up. Nice little vibe. I bet she's like, you just grabbed something. Okay. <laughs> 
How you doing today? Good. How are you doing? Okay. But you usually remember? Yeah. It's only my second time. Say hi. <laughs> Sister date. Period. Okay, so this is what I ordered. I literally forgot what it's called, but it's essentially like a beef and chicken burrito. We had our chips and dip, and Kiasa just got three beef tacos. So yeah, we're about to dig in. How you feeling? Are you ready? I'm so ready. Let's do some taste tests. I'm just need one. But it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. You took you didn't even you took a half bite. Stop it. Why so good? Hot so far? Whenever I see her, you see y'all y'all wanna see you wanna see me take a bite. Alright, All right, let's let's adjust this camera. One yeah. second. If you don't take off your jacket, if your mom was here, she would be so disappointed in you. This is my outfit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Headed to Apollo. I haven't been here in so long. Today, like, you mean you're here with me. Like, the people that she usually hang with. Yeah, or who like. Oh, yes, I believe so. I stand for it. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my Hands on my knees. Hello, friends. So it is the following day, the following evening, actually. So it's November 14th, a Sunday, 7 12 at night. Oh, you can actually see my phone this time. We still have Kiasta here. Then we also have Kamsi and Deja here, and they have to walk to the science center because we are working women and it's always some shit, right? <laughs> Enjoy the walk. <laughs> walk away. <laughs> Literally. How are you feeling, Kiasta? Day two. One, no, day three for you. Been here since Friday evening. Yeah, dang. I'll eat tomorrow afternoon. Aw, are you gonna miss it? Yeah, I am. But I'm, I'm not gonna so miss it. So, what has been your favorite? Fair enough. Okay, so that'll be your. <laughs> So has that been the least enjoyable yes. part of your experience with yes. the food? The food, oh look, I gotta look here. Yes, right you there. You be looking here? Yeah. The food, I'm sorry, I'm like terrible. Uh-huh. What has been the most enjoyable part of your experience over these past three days? Um, dang, that's a hard question. <laughs> Honestly, everything. Everything? Because I'm okay, just well, getting to know, like, know the college life. Mm-hmm. You have to give them one specific example or experience. Okay. What about the college life have you gotten to know better? I really like sub Ooh, as you, nice. <laughs> as you should. As you should. What else? That was one of my favorite. You said one. That is true. Okay. All right, say bye. Bye, y'all. Oh, oh, shoot. Speaking of which. Bye, y'all. Look down there. <laughs> okay, but yeah, we are curly, and we have also have chili here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are going to finish studying for the evening. I've literally worked on my bio lab report basically all day, but it's okay because I'm basically done. Just have to revise it a little bit. So that feels really great. So I have to just focus on other classes. I'm gonna start some math homework and then I have to create an agenda for the week, which I haven't done yet because of bio lab, but that's okay. Um, it's been a pretty good day overall, really great weekend. So yeah, excited for the week, last week before Thanksgiving break. So that feels amazing. Um, so yeah, let's just get started before I run out of stamina and energy. Hello friends, it's Thursday, November 18th, and it's 12.51 in the afternoon. I don't know why I'm pausing like that, it's kind of weird. Um, let me set this up differently because I lost my stand, my tripod stand. It's somewhere in my room, 
which is a mess. It's the end of the week. Don't say anything to me about it. Um, but yeah, my hand is going to hurt if I hold it like this. Okay, so from my understanding, this vlog mostly consisted of this past weekend when my sister Kiasta came to visit. And so that was a ton of fun. That was Kiasta's first time staying here with me on campus for an entire weekend. And we had a lot of fun. So we went to a Mexican restaurant downtown Oberlin, which is called Lupita's. The food there is really good. We saw Eternals at the movie theater here in Oberlin. That movie was so good. We already know there's going to be like a part two, maybe a part three. And we will definitely be watching it. I took her to a college party and it wasn't the best party. Unfortunately, the music was not that good, but it was an experience. It was okay. Um, it was still nice to hang out with my sister and my friends and all that good stuff and show her another side um, of my college experience. So that was nice. Um, and yeah, it was just a good weekend overall. And then reality hit <laughs> with this week. And I just wanted to kind of close out this vlog and also just give y'all some updates. I was just watching a video that I vlogged back in July that I didn't post until this past month. I know, I know. I was putting it off because I never made a thumbnail for it. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to make a thumbnail. I'm going to make a thumbnail. Girl, the video is two months. Oh, you ain't making no thumbnail. Just post the video. So that's exactly what I did. It was either at the end of October or the beginning of this month. It doesn't matter. But anyway, I was just watching that video. I just finished it. I just finished watching it. And it was so crazy to see how... Back in July, I was already expressing my frustrations with being a pre-med student and how difficult it is and how much I just hate the pre-med requirements, how much I just hate the stress and the pressure that I as a pre-med student am always under and other pre-med students are under. And if you're a pre-med student watching this video, you know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. Um, and it's so, so funny because I don't know if I ever expressed this to y'all explicitly, but this past summer, I was really um, struggling. Wait, wait, sorry. This past summer, I was debating dropping my pre-med courses for the rest of my undergrad career and picking them up sometime in the future whenever I decided that I wanted to pick them back up again, whenever I decided that I was mentally and physically, financially, spiritually prepared for medical school and prepared to pick back up those requirements and do the things that I would have to do to get into medical school and become a medical doctor. And just watching that video, I just realized that I made my decision right then and there. And I should have stuck with that decision because I ultimately decided to pick them back up for this fall semester. Um, and I'm not going to say I regret it, but I have finally come to this, the decision that I will no longer, I'm no longer a pre-med student. I'm just going to say it. Just, I don't need to sugarcoat it. Ugh. I don't need to sugarcoat it. I don't need to beat around the bush. I am not a pre-med student anymore. Um, and it hurts a lot. And I am very heartbroken over it. And I'm very sad about it. So it's at this point that I go into detail about what my new plans are post Oberlin. And I also talk more about just my overall decision to stop being a pre-med student. But when I recorded this vlog, I hadn't yet made my podcast. Um, and so my podcast is linked in the description box down below. And I'm also going to put it here on the screen. It's called A Growing Black Woman. And my very first podcast goes into detail about my decision to not be a pre-med student anymore, or at least to pause this journey and what my new plans are and a bunch of other things. So please, if you'd like to hear more about that, please go over to my podcast, which can be found on Acre, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, you know, the whole shebang. Thank you all so much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.